we know that you started in 1979, am I correct? Doing casting? Doing casting. Yes, I did. Um, it was probably a little earlier than that, but, you know, around that time. Around that time. Sure. And being there with Peter Sellers is one of the great, <laughs> great <laughs> films that you've done. Uh, a lot of Oscar award-winning films, too, also. Beautiful Mind. Right. Uh, Jerry Maguire, of course. Uh, and a lot of other films. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about, uh, let's just pick one of the films. Um, let's speak about Jerry Maguire. What was your process in, in finding the background um, individuals for that? Well, one of the big scenes in Jerry Maguire was the football scene where sure. Cuba Gooding is there and so forth. So we had to get like 20,000 people in the Arizona Stadium. We shot at Arizona State Stadium mm -hmm. down there. And they did not want to pay all the people. They wanted to do a promotional thing. So I took a publicity firm and then did all the legwork on that. And wow. we turned it into a huge fundraiser wow. for the community. We made a donation per person who came who would stay the duration of time. Right. And these people came and we did that. Wow. So that was one interesting thing about that movie in mm -hmm. terms of getting so many people, yes, yes. if you will. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that we're noted for doing is realism. It's hiring the real types that maybe existed at that time. Mm -hmm. um, one movie comes to mind where, where this was something that literally changed my life. When I did the movie Still Magnolias, oh, yes. I was actually transported to go to Louisiana. Oh, wow. Herbert Ross wanted me to go down there mm -hmm. to deal with the local people in a little town called Natchitoches, Louisiana. <laughs> And when I got down there, I um, met this woman. She sort of knew my background, and she pulled me aside at a barbecue, and she said, Mr. Dance, she said, I've read up about you, which made me quite nervous. I said, this woman knows too much about me. <laughs> but what she said to me, which was the bottom line of the whole situation, she said, I don't think that you realize that this is a true story. Right. And I said, well, what are you talking about? And here we were at a party of about 150 people that she had assembled mm -hmm. right in front of me. It was all orchestrated, which I didn't find out until later. Wow. And she said, you see those girls over there? Those are the real bridesmaids. And that's the real mother over there. Okay, and that's the real, that's the husband over there. And that's the little boy. And that's the cousin. And I said, stop what you're telling me. This can't be. She had planted me in the middle of an environment where the story took place with all of these people. These were all people in Susan Harling's life. So where we were was the exact location, the exact people, the exact clothes, to where when you saw the ICU unit scene when Julia Roberts is dying, yes. those were the same technicians because Susan was a nurse. All these people were there the day that she died. They were her friends. Wow. So I brought back all of the real people. And when Sally Fields heard about this, she just went, wait, I can't believe this. That's it became right. very emotional to her. They stopped filming. Right. She said, come here, talk to me. Right. What was Susan like? And these people began to share their experiences and it was highly emotional because it was very cathartic for them. Sure. And these were just the extras in the scene, but what it did, it turned everything upside down and created such humanity and such emotion that people became a part of. So we all felt the pain. Of course. The actors, they were cathartically going through this. It was very painful for them to do it. They were reliving, if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And many times in films I'm able to do that. I did it in a movie called And the Band Played On. We used the real HIV, real AIDS patients. Right, right. So whenever you're given a chance to do that, even though they're just the extras, if you will, time stops when you create that realism and everyone becomes a part of that energy and you lose a sense of time and you create artistry. You create that moment where time starts and you become one with what you're doing. Yes. And the background can do that. Right. It can create that oneness, if you will.